In today's Growing Oklahoma, we are talking about migrating monarch butterfly tagging. Yeah, and we are joined by Alana Broadway with the Myriad Botanical Gardens, and she is the Youth and Community Programs Coordinator. And boy, we have a lot of questions about how you go about tagging a butterfly. Yeah. And you've done this. So every fall, thousands of monarch butterflies migrate from Canada to central Mexico, and Oklahoma is a pit stop on their 2,000-mile journey. So monarchs are actually endangered. Mm -hmm. So something that we do to help them is actually participate in the Monarch Watches tagging program. So tagging monarchs can help um, understand their travel patterns, and then in turn, we can protect their habitat. Sure. So I'm gonna show you guys how to tag a monarch. So to tag Carl's a monarch. Carl's gonna be the monarch. Okay, yeah. here I come, here I come. You've here gotta come. catch yes. a monarch yes. to tag yeah. a monarch. Okay, we, we, have, we have caught this one. Yes, yeah, so All once right. you catch it, And you have, have to be really careful with them. You do, yeah. very gentle. They're fragile. Yeah, so you are, you are putting the monarch in your hands, taking it out yes. of the net. So you're gonna hold it just like this. Okay. And you can gentle, go ahead and do gentle, it. Like just a oh, light oh, touch. Oh, light touch, light uh, touch. Light. Light. <laughs> just killed up. Not just killed And then you're gonna take your tag. So they are little stickers. Oh, okay. This and is not a real butterfly, light, by the way. They, they've gotta be to so, be on those wings. Okay. And then and, you're gonna put it right here okay. on the little mitten shaped on the outside. part of the wing. Right here, this guy? Uh, right, right there. Don't bother yeah. it at all. all right. Nope, they're very lightweight. And then it's and, like, be free. Yep, and then they fly and, off. And we're tracking from that. Yes, yeah, so wow. there's a code on it. So before you put it on the butterfly, you're gonna write the code down. Yeah. You're gonna write the date. You're gonna see if it was a male or a female. So the males have um, little okay. dots right there. Okay. So that one is a male. A male. It's got the I dots. Got a male. Yep. Okay. So you only put males up here then. Yes, the one on the front is a female. That one okay. doesn't have the dot. No dots. <laughs> yep. Okay, okay so we're learning here. Yeah. How many of these have you done? I mean, how much luck are we There's gonna have if we just try to go out there with a net? Like, seriously. You catch them. Yeah, <laughs> so I've seen a bunch of monarchs at the Myriad Gardens already. So, so you do here. have to be kind of skilled in catching them. Mm -hmm. There is kind of an art to using the net and catching them. But once you get one, I mean, they're, you just put the tag on and let I, it go. I feel like they're, they'd be so delicate that you would, you might you gotta hurt, be careful. hurt it with the tag. Yes. But, uh, they can handle it. I Here's guess. my question. Can you, when you do this, when you, where do you get this? And also when you do this, can you track and find out where this butterfly is yes. up? That's what I want to hear about. So Where's this is that? the Monarch Watches program, okay. and so you put your um, tag code there, and then you actually put all the information into a big database, and that's the point of it, so we can see where the monarchs have traveled and if they actually okay. made it to so Mexico. We can, we can see that. Yes, if okay. they are retrieved in Mexico, there's actually volunteers that'll right. go and um, right. um, collect them after their life cycle. And then if they have the tag on it, they put right. that code back in and then you can trace it back to, oh, this went through Oklahoma. It's so cool. That is really so, cool. Yeah. Yeah. We, I planted some lantana this year and they're all over that right now. They've been yes, coming in, they, they love, love lantana. That. Here's a question, where well, they go to Central Mexico, Lacey Lowry went down there, did a story several years ago, yes. their habitat, drug cartel, all these things, they're eating their habitat away. Uh, are they finding that they're being that humans are being able to protect that now when they go down there because there's one main forest, right? This big area that they go to. Yes. And are they moving out? I'm just I just no, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're gonna, are, we're are, gonna let you cook. No, go it's ahead. just. <laughs> yeah. are, are, are they are they are they going to be in trouble? The numbers have declined. Is this going to help? Are we going to try to move them someplace? Or will they? So that's the point well, anyway. of the tagging program, okay. so that I'm we just, can have yeah. research, so that we can kind of <laughs> understand their travel patterns and okay. make um, plant Drug more cartel. milkweed. Yeah. So milkweed, yeah. this right here, is actually a really great Milk plant for butterflies. Milkweed. Yeah, milkweed. it's the okay. only plant that um, their caterpillars will live on. So put, we really need get, milkweed. Get pots of that, and you can put it in your in your backyard right now if you haven't planted it already. And I don't have any milkweed. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. But people do, right? It comes in okay. wide, I think. We we yes. have to wrap. Great job Alana, today. Thank, thank you. you. David yes. has about 20 more questions for you uh, during the break. But I'll come see her in the Children's Center. She'll be there from 2 to 3 tomorrow talking about monarch yeah. butterflies. And you can tag them, too. Fascinating yep. stuff. Sneak on in there. We'll be back after this.